Hello, hello, and welcome to day 41 of this Unity Game Development Journal. So, I woke up this morning and I decided that today I wanted to try and accomplish this moving around the map a little differently. I wanted to experiment. Now, currently I had it set up where you would go to the edge of the screen, it would pause, load the next section, pan the camera, then move the player, which is fine. But that was taking upwards of half a second to one second, depending on the um, scene, I'd ha and I don't even have game objects in it yet. So that's sort of an issue that I thought. Now I'm debating on how to um, make that go faster, and in order to do that I need to test some things out. So what I did was, I, I'm trying to do, I, I created a brand new bunch of files called the Zone Manager and the Zone Controller, and I renamed that chunk name to Zone. Now, I, a lot of people still call map chunks chunks, right? But I just didn't really like the name of it <laughs> personally, so I just changed it to zones. So you have like map zones that just load in and load out. And the player shouldn't really notice that um, on big worlds unless we're doing that camera move. But my hope is I can figure something out to, um, well, I'm not entirely sure because I've run into some issues today. So I want to just show you. So this is far from complete. I had it we're doing something completely different, but I ran into some issues. So um, we load in, and I got this load in much, much quicker by the way we're doing this here. Now I'm, I've taken all this pausing and camera movement out, and I just wanted to see how fast this would load. And uh, it's still loading fairly slowly there. So um, I sort of wish I had it back to the way um, I was doing it before. Let me see here. Yes, if I take out this. Now, there's a setting here called Allow Scene Activation. If you set it to false, it takes it to about 90% complete, and then it allows you to um, actually finish it off when you want for the scene loading, which I'm thinking is probably something I'm going to be doing if I go back to that pause, camera shift, player shift type um, transition, which I'm thinking right now I'm probably gonna end up doing. Uh, but let's just comment this out so this scene activation doesn't happen anymore. So what's going to happen now is, um, let me see here. I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this. And this register zone should still work and set the loading back to false. So I think that should take it back to the way I had it before. This is all going to be gibberish to you because you have no idea what I'm talking about, but let's just see what happens here. Okay, so I'm just going to minimize this to see if it's all working. And we'll have our scene here now. So you're going to see what happens, but it's going to be much slower. So it's 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 loading these two neighboring scenes in, okay? So that was my hope. But what you're going to find here is that it actually didn't save me any time at all. And like the whole reason I implemented the system was I thought, okay, now I can just walk over here and it'll be loaded. And then as I walk over there, it'll load two more zones for me and everything will be uh, fine and dandy. But as I walk over, you can see it freezes or it halts, as they say. So, and then it loads the other two scenes in here. Um, so I got a bunch of the scenes in, but um, it does that stuttering. Now, I've been looking into this quite a bit because it seems odd to me. And I have a question that is not answered whether um, this async loading is not effective on the free version of Unity, and which you need, see now it's pausing because it's loading two more scenes in. The one thing I like about this is that it's not, um, I don't need to actually stop and pan the camera over, so that's pretty cool, but that's that sucks if it all of a sudden the screen freezes to load in some stuff, right? Because when you think asynchronous, you think like it's happening in the background, it won't affect your actual current gameplay, but it seems to be affecting it. So I'm wondering if I need the pro version for that to be um, a feature, a fully featured async, um, because I have heard that on the older versions of Unity, but apparently on the newer versions of Unity, it's not supposed to be like that. But So I'm a little bit confused there. So I've been testing some things out, and obviously today isn't, didn't go the way I planned. I built this whole system, and it's acting exactly like I thought it was gonna act. It loads the scenes in um, asynchronously, it loads in the neighboring scenes that haven't been loaded in yet. And I was about to unload scenes as I move away from them. But then I started getting into this stuttering problem. And I thought, well, wait a minute, this isn't actually working anymore. 
So you can see if I just move straight over here, see it stops and then it stutters and now it loads two more scenes in, which is fine that it's doing that, but I don't want the stuttering. So I don't know, I'm gonna have to do some more research tomorrow and come come to a conclusion on what I wanna do there. Um, like the alternative is just to use sort of like this system here. What is that all about? There we go. Um, sort of like this system or go back to my moving the, the camera over and sort of do a hybrid of both of them. So obviously this needs a lot more research and development, um, but it's one of the big issues. I really want to get this map thing figured out, and then I want to get a lot of the um, dialogue stuff, jump back on that, get that figured out, because those are my two huge things. The rest of it is fairly basic. So anyways, uh, thanks for tuning in. Day 41, maybe not the most success, but I learned a lot. Tried some new things, built some new uh, systems for the scene loading, and you know what? It's one day, uh, I know more than I knew yesterday. So thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe if you want to follow along with game development. If you have any questions or comments, and you know what I'm doing wrong, or you know that it's the pro version that I need to get, let me know in the comments, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.